One has to die to fertilize the birth of a whole new Well, I'm, what I'm saying is just the fact that people are putting on his music more. I don't know if you saw any of the footage of like some of the dance parties in the street in like Brooklyn, Minneapolis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they're blasting that music out and people are just like pressed up against each other. Do you think, one, a birth spike and two, more, more babies named Prince in nine months? Oh yeah, totally. Yeah, it's wild. I mean, when I think about it, I was like, it's weird. I, I'm kind of, it's been a long time since Prince has a hit, you know? So I'm not surprised. There's so many people who don't know Prince. It's kind of wild. Because, I mean, for me, it was just like, when Purple Rain came out, and I was, at that, I was at that age where everything in that movie was right up what I was dealing with, right? Your parents are fighting. You're trying to be something, but no one's taking you seriously. Right, yeah. that movie? Yeah. So you got some talent, you got some potential, you but got a scrap. You're fighting with the manager. Manager's like, yo, Prince, don't play that. Yeah. Don't play that sappy shit, right? Yeah. yeah. And Prince was like, screw you, I'm gonna play my own shit, right? And it's like one of my favorite parts in the movie of Purple Rain is at the end when he's playing Purple Rain and they cut to the boss of the man the, the manager of the club. The glasses and the hat, he's yeah. got the glasses and the hat on, and he's always yelling at Prince the whole movie, like I told you not to play that shit in my club. You know, in that in that that moment at the end of Purple Rain, you gotta and you see the the shot of the audience, and you've got skinheads, rockers, punkers, you've got black white dweebs, you jocks. Got, yeah, what is it, Breakfast Club? Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> you know, zoom dweebies. Yeah, zoom, zoom dweebies. <laughs> you are neo maxi zoom dweeby, <laughs> and you always will be. Yeah. Um, Have you ever heard anyone say like, I I hate Prince? Ugh. Yeah, I have. Oh, okay. No, no, I just think it's like, because you, if you don't know Purple Rain, I think you can hate him. Like, I think everyone would love Purple Rain. Like, if you play the album from the first song to the end, When Doves Cry, I Would Die For You, Baby, oh. I'm a Star, I mean, it just Let's goes go on and on. Let's go crazy. Let's go crazy. Let's go crazy, dude. Dearly Beloved. Dearly Beloved. Just the way that Just the whole thing started. Forget about it's it. It's like there's no better song to start a concert, to start yeah. an album. You knew the second that you started as hearing soon as that. You're like, this is genius. You're just like. Because every other song starts off with like bullshit, right? It's like one, it's two, boom. three, four. <laughs> like everything else is normal, but but let's go crazy start some with the freaking with the hammer. Man. It's church. Church, right? right? It's Off church. It's church, but it's in a club. He brought church to the club. It's like, Dearly Beloved. We gathered here to get to this thing called life. To get through this thing. Yeah, to get it. And then like, uh, electric word life, it means forever. It's a mighty long time. But I mean here to tell you, it's the afterworld. There's the afterworld, right? You can always see the sun day or night. When you call it that shrink, shrink in Beverly Hills, you know the one, doctor, everything will be all right. Uh, instead yeah. of asking how much of your time is left, ask how much of your mind, baby, because in this life, Things are much harder than the afterworld. In this life, you're yeah. on your own. Dan, dan. Holy shit. Dan, dan, like, dan, 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 dan. What? Yeah. When the elevator tries to break you down, go crazy. Punch a higher floor. Dan, 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 dan. Ah, dan, dan. Oh my oh. god. Aren't we lucky that we got to, I mean, it's just, it's got just to like, be there when that. I was 10 when that came out. You know, yeah. I was 10. I was like. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Because the pop are there. Woo! The yeah. energy, right? I don't even know the words. You don't even care. It's all about Purple Rain, man. It's all about that. I mean, can we talk about, like, it's Purple Rain, that movie, and then everything else just wasn't... What is it about? Was it, like, like Michael Jackson Thriller was by far better than everything else. Don't you think? Don't you think? What do you think? I don't know. There's, there's debate about... A spike. Off the wall and bad, but it's not about MJ. It's about Prince. But right, right, right. But no, it's comparable. Comparable. You know, it just seems like. Well, give me your top five Prince songs. Nice. Let's go crazy. A little red Corvette. When doves cry. 
Purple Rain. Holy crap, it's all like mostly from that album. <laughs> um, ooh, the last fifth, the fifth one is tough because there's I mean, nothing compares to you. Get there's in nothing there. compares to you. There's Raspberry Beret. There's there's uh, Baby Baby I'm uh, Baby I'm a Star, which I love as all of Purple Rain. I would die for you, as I all love. Um, uh, 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 uh. Do you think people are dig digging through his later catalog now? Way like more like, so that like yeah, you know, I'm going to. Like, I don't know what, through, like, I don't know musicology. I don't know. He's been all this. making a huge, I know a ton of music. I, mean, I don't even remember like, Sign of the Times really, which and I remember I know the Sign name. Of the Times. Sign of the Times. There's uh, around the uh, around the world in a day. Raspberry Beret. There was there was another you know, movie. Batman's Bat I Dance. Know. There was Bat Under the Cherry Moon. Bat Dance. There, there, there was '90s Prince, which was like Dude, Get off. I want to be your lover. It was '70s. Get off. Nine positions in a one night stand. Yeah. Oh my God. There was cream. There was diamonds and pearls. Oh, that, diamonds that and was, pearls. To me, that was Prince, man. Nineties Prince was Prince. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah, why yeah. we need Kalo. We need Kalo to jump in because we're stuck in the eighties. Yeah, we are. Hey, jump in the middle. I don't. I don't know too much of Prince eighties. Yeah, like, we, that's, we don't need to know a lot. Why. We don't need to know a lot. I came, just, I came in late. I came in yeah, late yeah. to the to the Prince. Yeah, yeah, no. Prince nineties is a whole other world. Yeah, totally. And that's the thing about Prince, right? He's like he 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 did so many different genres. Right, right, right. That like it was like the whole Diamonds and Pearls, like right. Uh, get off, uh, do, 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 cream. Cream. Um, I mean, that was when he was just like super, yeah. R and B ish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was R and B Prince. Right, right, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was Sheena Easton. You got the look. You got the look. Yo, da da da. He wrote um. Uh, glamorous life. Glamorous life. If you're a b boy, <laughs> like that track. <laughs> wow. Yeah, dude. Yeah. So it's crazy. And then he can get up on stage and play this just insane. He just drops in oh at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and just delivers this insane solo for Why My Guitar Gently Weeps. I saw that, Tom Petty. And there, you can see like people are like, oh. <laughs> and he just leaves. He doesn't, he, <laughs> he goes on and he just like, I'm out of here. I like, wish I could say multi-genre. Like how much money would you have paid if you could take a time machine and be at Prince's house when when he yeah, first masturbated? When Charlie Murphy... <laughs> the basketball thing? When Charlie Murphy <laughs> and all his boys played Prince basketball. Prince and the Revolution. Again, yeah. Charlie Murphy and his boys. Yeah. And apparently that's a true story. Prince yeah, says a true story. Yeah, yeah. He claims that it wasn't, it wasn't that he was so good. It's that Charlie Murphy guys was so bad. Mm -hmm. He liked to play. He liked, that's the other thing. Totally. I mean, yeah. didn't, didn't he play on his best on his high school? I got one. He was, one he was a bit of a. I was about to throw it. Yeah. yeah maybe he would bounce off the camera <laughs> and hit the microphone in. The, nice. Um, yeah, he's a bit of a jock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it is what we're talking about earlier. It's just like we don't. It's, even if you don't like the music, you just have to look at somebody who. What was going on in that brain? Did you play basketball? You, you know, and you're and you're actually crossing over fools at five two, right? <laughs> You can play every instrument where you're like showing everybody in the band how to play it right. Yeah, 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 yeah. The bass, the piano, the drums, the you know the the vocals, the guitar, and you're like showing all the studio musicians how to do it. Like he yeah. didn't he didn't record covers. No. I, think he, I think he played covers. Yeah, so like, his concerts are for fun. Yeah, yeah. But like, yeah, if, if he, like on all his albums, it's just all original, like written by him stuff, right? Yeah, he left a lot behind. He left us with a lot to right. to, to cruise to look through, you know. Oh, yeah. And that's the thing. I think like even like post death, you're gonna you're gonna see all these tracks come out. Like they found him at Paisley Park. Uh, I don't know. Paisley if it's, Park. I don't yeah. know if they if it's true, but somebody's like they found him in the studio. I'm like, did he made? Did he hit record one last time? Mm -hmm. Who knows? Mm -hmm. But like, I'm sure there's tons of like. Yeah, Tupac came unreleased, out released. Yeah. yeah. Unreleased, you know, material. Yeah, totally. And that's the thing. It's like because of that. It's like as much as I want to mourn, I'm not really like it doesn't it doesn't hurt that bad because yeah. the dude left behind like such a legacy of music and like well, that's our relationship with him, right? Yeah, it's also yeah, it's very weird. It's like it's like your your connection is through the music and the music still lives. So like not to be like you know, cold about it, but like <laughs> Prince is dead. Is the music, is the music still like, accessible? Oh, okay. Well, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's that, well. I'm sad. Of <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, I, I, you know, I think it's both. I think it's both. Like, you, you it really is. It's like the guy 
the human behind all of this is now gone. gone. So there's a, yeah. there's a, there yeah. is that. The human, the, like that human yeah. feeling of like, oh, yeah, yeah. that sucks. Well, no, you know, I think especially for me, like, and I know I get, like I said, like maybe it's different, you know, I, that's why I'm having this podcast. I know everybody has their own individual like, connection with this, but like being the age I was when Purple Rain came out, I, like I said, Apollonia, who was the star in Purple Rain, like she was the first poster I had in my bedroom. <laughs> so that was like the first image I was masturbating to and listening for dad to come up the stairs because watch out, oh, it's just me and Apollonia right now. Remember the centerfold? Oh my goodness, it's like- It came out on Playboy? I, mean, we I, didn't, I didn't have Netflix, there was oh no man. YouTube, there was no That's new porn, there was right, nothing, there was no right, porn right, hub. Right, right. There was just like- There was root hub. It was good time, but no porn. No, no, no. Yeah, no I, porn. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember like really distinctly any centerfold of like oh that one except right. for Apollonia. Right, right, right. Yeah. So and, she like, was opening yeah. it and just being like. I mean, oh, I was I can just, almost yeah. like I can see him. So like so so Prince was this guy who was banging my dream girl. He was playing the guitar like I wanted to play. But you weren't jealous of him. No, not at all. That's weird. Thing. No, of usually not. like you. No, like, yeah. Well, because he's no. some rock star, you just go like. Okay, that's I want to be able to do that. Play all the instruments, write the music. Oh, star in your own movie. Oh, direct it. Oh, write it. Yeah. Oh, then bang all the hottest chicks, and then yeah. and you're like 21. So he was just becoming like this. You know, he was like in his prime, and I'm like this teenager about to a preteen, and I'm just like so impressed, right? Like I said, at first I was like, okay, you're you're you know, you're a pansy. Yeah, you're you're like this. <laughs> that's that's how used, that used to be the internet. This is this is yeah, this is like fourth grade. It's like, is it he the kind? <laughs> that was the whole thing, right? Is it, yeah. yeah, I think Mr. Roper used to do that on, this, on the on Three's Company. Yeah, no, seriously. And then, like yeah. even when like Kiss came out, that was later, right? It's like you just when it first came out, you're like. As a guy, even way back then, you were like, I don't know how to like this in public. Like, Dude, did you put Kiss on the top five? I of didn't. Songs? I might have to slide in at five. That, <laughs> that might have to be five. Dude, that Kiss is, is genius. <laughs> Bro. It is just a perfectly ri written song. I mean, he, re yeah. he redefined a, a genre of being. Dude, I'm You know, dude. like how to hold yourself as a person. Dude, I mean, let's look at those lyrics. It's, it's just like yeah, this. Do you, yeah, do you think, let's talk about the impact of of us accepting other people. That's what it is. That's what it is. It's like he like, was so good that you were just like I'm gonna I, keep the door open. No, seriously. Like and after Prince, I was I just found myself checking myself. Like, don't judge a book by its cover. Action. That's it. It was that simple. It's like you got caught ju judging a book by its cover, and in the end, it doesn't matter at all to you, does it? No. Yeah. Like admit it to yourself. It does it. Does it? I'm like, no, of course it doesn't. It doesn't at all. Yeah. And so next thing you know, women like girls <laughs> to feel my way. I can't reach it at all. But uh, yeah, I don't know what else was uh, happening in the Prince whole thing. I mean, uh, Prince's wife is putting all this stuff on auction. I know that. And she was saying that, and her article's interesting. She was saying like, you know, he would always wear stilettos, like all the time. They, they literally were the same size. No, I think so they smaller. Shared, they were smaller. But they shared, I read, you know, uh, they, they shared a wardrobe. Clothes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they shared clothes. She actually dated Tommy Lee after Prince. And so, I don't know if it was him, but she said other people came and she, that she dated, tried to write songs for her, and she straight told them. Tommy's so, like, watch this drum set. <laughs> Strap me in with that thing that goes upside down. She straight told him, like, don't even go there. You can't compete. Wow. Like, how you gonna, like... You gonna try to date Prince's ex after him and then try to write her a song? I, I'm not gonna do that, dude. I'll write you a joke. I ain't writing a song after him. The most beautiful girl in the world, he writes you that. You're gonna try to be like, I think you're pretty. <laughs> like, whatever you're gonna do that's not Prince. I, I also think you're the really most beautiful girl in the world, too. <laughs> That's exactly what you were saying after, right? Yeah. What did Miles Davis say? Like, uh, there's never a wrong note. It's just what happens after you play another note. It's just what? Where do you go from the note you just played? Yes. Charlie Parker said that too. Uh, maybe, maybe that. Could have been, yeah, because it's the same documentary. Uh, <laughs> Don Cheadle's gonna say it in a movie <laughs> that's about to be released. No, I just saw the the PBS oh, okay. uh, Ken yeah, Burns I'm, documentary with like all Ken the jazz. Burns. And so he, that was Parker. Charlie was Parker. Bird. Yeah, but it was very all close together. Miles like how I said, oh, that was Bird. I know, I know things. <laughs> Charlie Parker, Bird. <laughs> that was it. That was a great movie. Oh, uh, yeah. Forrest Whitaker. 
Yeah. You ever seen that movie? I, well, I didn't see... The Charlie Parker... It was a Charlie Parker movie? Yeah. I don't know, I didn't see that one. And Forrest Whitaker plays Char Charlie Parker? Yeah. I think Clint Eastwood directed it. Yeah, like, Charlie Parker, when I hear him, it's like, to me, he just sets himself apart from other people. Like, there's yeah. all these saxophone players, right? And then there's Charlie Parker, to me. I mean, it, it's, it's that's why I remember that quote from him, because when he... When he plays, you feel like he's magically, there's no wrong no friend. Mm -hmm. And he's sorry, playing. sorry jazz friends. I met Charlie Park. <laughs> <laughs> Podcast brought to you in part by Bud Light. But it's really, right? Like, how do you not, how do you make every note sound like... like that's the crazy thing about Prince's solos. Like, you, you never doubt that guy's confidence. Right, right, right. That's, then that's another like, thing. There's something that that dude exuded, even in when he's in the movie breaking down, like, oh, I'm doubting right. myself. I'm like, uh, you're just fucking around right now. Like, right, you, right. you really don't, you know, you'll, I know he's going to find his way. Sometimes you're like, oh, that person ain't gonna find. I think you're basically boiling it down to what we love the most about not only Prince but our heroes in general. Can you be so bold, right, to just this is what the fuck I feel like putting out? Yeah. This is the song without a bass, with a super high voice, with some funk, with some gospel. I'm gonna say pussy in the song. I'm gonna say masturbation. No. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna say talk about Trojans and used condoms in a pocket. I'm gonna dress in your sister's clothes. I'm gonna do all this shit, and you're gonna buy the fuck out of it. Yeah. And you're gonna love it, and I'm gonna show you what the fuck you all should be doing yourselves. Yeah. Here's Which my is, here's my corner of the universe. That's everything. I yeah. mean, I think that's what we're all experiencing right now. This massive global grieving going on for Prince is because it. The thing that is rare amongst humans, and we we got 7.5 billion on the Earth right now, right? I mean, it's just oh, there's there's just like a handful, like there's a guide. A, there's a handful who just do like whatever the fuck they want. Yeah. I mean, just and it works. He, you know, you're not just being a fucking weirdo and then nobody gives a shit. Yeah, you're being a weirdo and then you're mastering the guitar. You're being a yeah. weirdo and you're mastering. And we, we love weirdos because totally. we are weirdos. We're all weirdos. <laughs> we all are. It's just that's that, true. We all are. Like seriously, yeah. like nobody can afford to be a weirdo while being in their cubicle nine to five yeah. or being a salesperson for fucking X. So yeah. we're all pretending to be not weird. So when we look at Prince going over there, it's like our initial thing is like, <laughs> what is this? Yes. What is this? <laughs> Next thing you know, it's just like you can't resist. Like, and can't. by doing that, he challenges, like by doing, by just being who he was, like him and Bowie, because he's a recent. They're really like fresh, you know. Right. Like by being who they are, one hundred percent. Right, right, right. They challenge us to be what we really want to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I mean, isn't that the true, like? Uh, you know, purpose of an artist is to ex form of expression and show you like, hey, we're not alone. Also, you you should try your hand at this too. Yeah, no, totally. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's what I say. Like, you should you can try your hand at it too. Right, right. Forget about what other people say about whether it's good or not, right. or whether other people value it or not, right. or whether it's accepted or not. Just try your hand in it. Well, you can't create something new and innovative and genius and something the world's never seen before, which is what all good artists want to do. We want to not copy. No. Anybody can copy. I'm glad I got to be in the building, you know, when he was here. I saw him at Coachella. I saw oh, yeah, him that's at, right. no, okay, that was the in a hotel lobby. Um, Masturbating with a magazine. <laughs> so was he gay, bisexual, or straight? Go. Uh, yes. Yes, you think it was all? Because I mean, I, I saw this one. I don't know. I saw this one interview where it was him and Chris Rock, and he was saying that the reason why he turned down uh, doing bad with Michael Jackson, and he says like, this was Prince telling Chris Rock, he was like, "Okay, you realize that if I had said yes, I would have been the Wesley Snipes character in Bad." It was just funny. And Chris Rock was laughing. He's like, nah, and Prince like kind of got all ghetto. He's like. Now you play that video and run it back in your mind. <laughs> me as Wesley Snipes. And you tell me if that shit works. <laughs> it's so funny. And he's like, and, and let me tell you, Chris, by the way, the first line is, your butt is mine. And I, told, <laughs> I, I turned the mic on, I'm like, now who gonna sing that, dude? 
Are you gonna say that to me? Cause are you sure as hell they ain't saying to me? And I sure as hell ain't saying that to you. So that's for one thing that was wrong. <laughs> and it's just funny to see that like, he's joking about it. But in that one moment, that's a straight guy moment. Like that's a, I, that's yeah. what you know. That's a straight guy joke. That's I not think a, uh, he was so freed up that if he, he could go if either he way, he did have it. Well, yeah, he could. Yeah. But also, if he was, he would probably just share that and just like be. I mean, who knows? Yeah, no, that, but so from that line to me, if he was really bi, he could still make that joke, and then then to me, he would have followed up with like, "No, nah, I'm kidding. I totally love his butt," but you know, or something like he didn't like yeah. you know. It was just a straight joke. It was like, uh, "No, I." He uh, he, bro, I, he broed out. Yeah, he second. told it for one second, like yeah. for one. I, that's the first, that's the most broed out I've ever seen Prince talking to Chris Rock talking about like. I sure as hell ain't gonna say that line to you. You sure as hell ain't gonna say that to me? <laughs> Your body's mine. And you're like, it's so funny because he's, Prince is showing like shame and being a little bit too feminine. Mm -hmm. Is that what it's, you're, you're, and that's the first moment you ever see Prince worried about being seen as gay. <laughs> he's probably wearing assless chaps at the fucking time, you know? He's like, well, I don't, I don't want to talk about your butt is my, I, my butt is showing right now, sure, but what does that have to do with it? <laughs> There's something about someone who just refuses to stop making stuff. And he yeah. had that. He had that obsessive, I will not, and I don't care how many people stop me. Like, I will get, like, he, I mean, he was 17. He said no. They offered, he got a deal with Warner Brothers at 17. And they offered him Maurice White, who'd also died this year. He was Earth, Wind, and Fire. Yeah. He said, my God, we got Earth, Wind, and Fire, Maurice White to produce your yeah. album. He's like, pass. No. Nope. Pass. Almost, nobody's going to produce my first album except me. He said no. It's pretty audacious. It's crazy. But he knew what he wanted. He knew what he wanted. I didn't have that focus at 17. It's bold. I don't have this focus now. <laughs> it's yeah, right. We're I, just trying to figure out. We're trying to get. On. We're trying to get Prince's focus that he had when he was 17. Like that's the sad and true, and I don't even care because that's. That's why I'm here talking about it. It's like some people, uh, I don't know. I mean, and, I, and again, is it? I don't know if it's genetic. I don't know if it's random. I don't know if it's a combination of a billion different variables. But it's the same thing that's, that makes up the chaos of the universe. Yeah. There's no recipe. There, re there really isn't. Sometimes it just strikes you all at 17. And then, like, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't think he was as powerful as those few years between 17 and 24 or whatever. Yeah. It was right there to me. You asked Dylan about those, those years. Because when you're 17 to 24 and nobody's paying attention to you, you're just screaming at the world because you don't really care. Yeah. And there's a rawness that there's an energy that came. And to me, like, again, I don't know if he could. It's something interesting about the fact that to me of so much. And, and so was it was Prince so much better during Purple Rain or was I so much more impressionable? Yeah. Or, I, or both. I don't know. See, or me, both. Me, I'm, I'm probably both. Me, I'm a late bloomer. I didn't hit that until... I'd say like 10 years ago, mm -hmm. that kind of like eight years ago of like hitting this place where I'm like, oh, I'm just getting started. Mm -hmm. So like 17, no, I didn't have any of it. So that's a different experience, you know? Right. I was, I haven't been afraid of success. I mean, I haven't been afraid of failure. I, I think a lot more people are afraid of success than they are failure. By the way, um, we never talked about it, but you got to go check out what I think is your most legendary video song. What's that? I'm Amita. You cut off all your hair. One I, take. I'm Amita. He had, he he had dreads hair. all the way down to his butt. Not that I was looking at your butt. I did try to look once. There's nothing but dreads. Yeah. And that's how long it was. And then you just in one song shaved it all off. I I'm, used my, I'm, I'm, I'm used showing it right here right now. Oh, yeah. Here it is. Yeah. It's, um, those are my, that was one take. Though. Those are my late uncle's razor sharp shears. Yeah, it's one take all the way through. He's cutting um, off his dreads, basically, as he's singing. As I'm singing. I mean, you screw up that fucking... Life is Take hard. over. You can't, right. you can't do it over. Oh, I said if I cut myself, like if I cut my ear, part of my ear off or something, because it's hard to cut through that stuff, um, just keep filming. Yeah, yeah. I'll just get through it. Um, That'll actually make so it interesting, right? That you, you're so, bleeding. Yeah, you have to check it out because um, it's crazy what happens in the video. Um, life is art. Right? You make, like, make our life into art. Mm -hmm. We're artists, so that's what we do. Yeah. Um, and that's probably one of my best performance art pieces I've ever done. Yeah. It, I think it's got up to 700, 700 views, right? 700? That's amazing. So, 
I'm not afraid of success anymore. <laughs> hey, it's amazing. It is amazing, man. That is like, you know, you're not afraid. You're just bold. It's a, it's a thing that makes you go, wow. That's like, because you're seeing it. Years of productivity cut off in three seconds. Yeah, I think, I think that, 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 that video uh, makes pe uh, some people feel uneasy. They feel in like, a good way, though. For me, in a good yeah, way. I'm yeah. like, because uh, you just, if, if, if that's what great art is. It's yeah. like you pull, it's, it's, yeah, you, it, because I know it's real. You know, I could feel it's like, you know, you bring that out that leap of faith. Yeah. Right? Well, I you, hope this works. No, totally. Totally. I mean, that's exactly. So you're, 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 you're not just being a regular artist. You're kind of, you're reaching further. You're, yeah. going, you're doing something a little bit more radical. You're making us pay attention. I love that. That's what, you know, we're all trying to do. Next podcast that you, you invite yeah. me, I would like oh, you yeah. to think about us talking about leaps of faith that didn't work. Yes. Those are fun too. There's a lot of them out there. Yes. No. <laughs> I mean, way more than ones yeah. that work. So there's yeah. there's so many to, to cover. Yeah, yeah. I would just say Milli Vanilli. Well, yeah. It's well, just, I mean, I don't want to get too into it. But. No, no. We actually that was in my last podcast. You're not yeah. even. You're not even. You didn't see what, it. Did what's you? old is new again. Did you? You didn't even what's see it. And you just mentioned my last podcast. You referenced the last podcast without even knowing. Cosmic. You because uh, well, we had these microphones, but they weren't plugged in. So I uh, called them Milli Vanilli. Good. Yeah. We're, we're we're creating too much for me to edit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're right. <laughs> Okay. Saga! Nice. We talked about stuff. I love it. And thanks.